The Utah lab working on the Tulsa race massacre graves investigation says people are starting to turn in information and DNA. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Tatum Gwynn. And I'm Jonathan Cooper. People sharing that information are hopeful they could be a match with the remains found in a mass grave at Oaklawn Cemetery last summer. News on 6's Amy Slanchik is live with the update. Amy? Jonathan and Tatum Intermountain Forensics says it has received dozens of submissions of family stories and family trees. The genealogy team says about 70% of people sharing information have already taken a consumer DNA test through places like Ancestry.com or 23andMe. Intermountain Forensics genealogy case manager Allison Wild says many of those people have uploaded their information to the databases the lab will be using going forward, which she says is fantastic. So far, the lab says it only has two samples from the remains found at Oaklawn last summer that it feels confident about trying to match. Archaeologists plan to go back to Oaklawn for more excavation work this fall with the goal to collect more DNA samples. The group Justice for Greenwood held a meeting last month urging people not to donate their DNA for this effort, saying it would be available for the public and law enforcement to search. Wild shared this document at tonight's meeting showing several different paths for sharing information and DNA. It's true that DNA is a necessary part of this project. It is the only way these remains will be identified. At the same time, only community members comfortable with DNA testing should participate in that aspect of this project. And tonight, a member of the Public Oversight Committee, Greg Robinson, expressed frustration and pushed for these meetings to be held in person with a virtual option. He argues that if they were held in person, it would allow for the community to be more aware of what's going on. Live in Tulsa, Amy Slanchik, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.